Now, survivors of the deadly tornado have weeks and months ahead for recovery, and the images of the totality of destruction is incredible. Right now, let's bring in a man who survived the EF4 tornado, Hunter Briley, good morning, who lives in Donaldson just outside of Nashville. And Hunter, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. First, can you walk us through what happened late Monday night? Sure, absolutely. Thanks, Colleen. Um, about 12.30 uh, at, in the morning, my wife and I, we were asleep in, in our bed, and uh, the siren went off, the tornado siren that's not too far away from uh, Donaldson here, and woke me up and uh, turned the news on real quick, and the, the storm tracker said it, the tornado uh, three minutes till Donaldson, and, which is obviously where we are. So I jumped up and woke my wife Wendy up, and uh, our, we have two boxer dogs, and we ran downstairs. Uh, my, my little boy dog got scared and ran back up to the top of the to the bedroom um, and jumped in the bed just because he was nervous. And I grabbed him. I ran up after him. I grabbed him and pulled him back downstairs. And as I was getting to the bottom, very last stair of our basement, the house collapsed on top of me, uh, pushing me over into the side wall. Um, and then I just I jumped up out of that and ran and jumped on top of my wife with a blanket and the two dogs. And uh, the downstairs basically just exploded. Um, our HVAC unit went through the wall. There was bricks flying like missiles, and the the stuff you guys talk about the the pressure change with your ears and your your head and everything is very true. It instantly happens, and uh, you know it was over in about 12 seconds, I think. And uh, we walked outside, and you've probably seen the photos of my truck was in the pool, and our house was gone. Oh my gosh, Hunter, it's hard to hear this. I I can't even imagine. Have you ever? Uh, how long have you lived here in Donaldson? Have you ever seen anything like this? Have you ever been through any type of tornado before? Uh, no, I have absolutely not been through something like that before. Uh, we lived in this house for seven years. I was born and raised here. Um, the school that's next to us, I actually graduated from uh, the one that's torn absolutely to pieces. It's Donaldson Christian Academy. Um, so, no, Colleen, in all of my life, I've never seen anything like this or been through any of it. I feel like it's obviously a miracle that we've walked away from it. Yes, and Hunter, do you have any advice for folks? I mean, I, I'm just hearing the emotion as you're telling this story, and I know a lot of things have to be going through your head when something like that is going on. Do you have any advice for someone who gets, unfortunately, put in a situation like this to help keep you calm? I mean, uh, just praise the Lord that everyone in your family was safe. You got your two dogs to safety. Do you have any advice for folks? Um, I would say just listen to the warnings. You know, I mean, you guys have jobs and our local weathermen and women have jobs and and listen to them i mean you guys don't do this just for fun it's you're there for a reason and warnings are there for a reason and i mean guys i had three minutes or we wouldn't be having this uh, this interview at all and uh you know you're right praise the lord that you know we walked out of this and there's a lot of more unfortunate people out there that weren't able to walk away like wendy and i did mm -hmm. and those are the folks who really need to focus on colleen uh is helping those that don't have insurance or that lost lives and friends and family members and things like that. So, Hunter, you've been talking, we've been showing footage of your area and uh, your truck that came into your pool, uh, just the neighborhood. It is just ravaged. I know you guys have many, many months ahead. What now, what are the steps that you're taking for this recovery process? Well, we've got, uh, we've got amazing people that surround us, first and foremost, Colleen, friends, family, and uh, business partners and things like that. Our, uh, our insurance is absolutely stepping up. I mean, uh, as we speak right now, uh, one of the insurance adjusters is down looking at what used to be my wife's car. <laughs> Um, and they're they're doing their jobs. The uh, the funding that the president released and that Governor Lee released and everything is going to be used in the right way. Um, I think the next steps are number one, taking a step back and breathing and making sure that you know everybody's okay mentally and physically, and then uh, basically letting the the process take care of itself. You know, all the volunteers that came out and helped were unbelievable. We got everything cleared and in piles, and you can hear the chainsaws in the background. People are working hard. To, to recover and start this. But then I think it's just, you know, follow your insurance and, and, and listen to what they have to say to you. If you don't have insurance, let the government help you. It's what these things are set up for. Uh, and, and just really, those are your next steps, I would think. And Hunter, we, I, of course, the sun has risen there uh, in Donaldson. Can you show us around? I know you are at your house right now. Yeah, so I can do a little tan over here if y'all can see that. That's uh, basically all that's left standing of my house. That's one of the bathrooms over here that made it. They always say to go to the bathroom, and that made it. If you can see over here, that was our bedroom. If the hardwood floor back there, that was our bedroom. Uh, it's completely 
just gone. Now, I will say it's been swept a little bit by the volunteers, so uh, it looks a little more wiped right now, which is nice. And uh, But if you can see behind me, these are the piles of stuff. Colleen, if you can mm. see that. Yes. Um, just of everything. And then you can see back here, that's the school, you guys. That's the elementary wing of the school. Uh, I mean, thank God it was at one in the morning, not one in the afternoon. We'd be doing a different news story right now, I can tell you that much. But, um, yeah, it's everything's just, it's a complete loss. And, you know, but again, this is just stuff, you know, I mean, we're breathing and have heartbeats and that's all that matters. Exactly. Oh, Hunter, thank you so much uh, for joining us. Hunter uh, Briley in Donaldson, Tennessee. We're sending prayers and thoughts your way, Hunter, as you guys continue uh, the cleanup process. And many of us, not just here at the Weather Channel, but across the country, are here to help. And